It was Saturday afternoon and Grandpa was playing with my seagull, Gordon. Oh, 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 sorry, Wolfie. I was getting ready to go to the first ever Sunny Sands Kids Art Club at Miss Smiley's Cafe. I love painting, sticking and making stuff. And I knew the art club was going to be really fun. But what I didn't know was there'd be magic in the air. I couldn't decide what outfit my dolly should wear, so I bought all of them. What about you, Jason? You're supposed to bring something to draw, remember? How about Gordon? Great idea, Grandpa. Hurry up, Jason. Mum, time to go. Do you want to go to the art club, Gordon? I know I do. I just knew what Grandpa was thinking. Sure enough. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Grandpa, come back! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can fly off in my plane. Nobody else knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap. Whenever he disappears, everyone thinks he's gone for a little lie down. Oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? I expect he's glad we're going out. You know how he likes his peace and quiet. Come along, Jemima. Come on, Jason, we're going to be late. I hate having Grandpa on his own when he's small. But I had to go. We all got into Campo and set off for the cafe. And Mum said, I wonder what the art teacher's going to be like. And Jemima said, I hope she's nice and friendly. And I said, Oh no, I forgot Gordon. And Jemima said, Jason. But I wasn't so worried about Gordon. I was much more worried about Grandpa. Wee! I knew he'd have a plan. I just didn't know what it was. The new art teacher was already there. And so were my friends, Zach and Lily. See, children, nice and pointy. That's how we like them. Everybody must have a pointy pencil. Pointy pencils are most important. I didn't know the teacher's real name, but I knew if Grandpa was here, he'd call her Mrs Pointy Pencil. Her face, of course. You. Oh, that's a lovely one. Pointy pencil for you, pointy pencil for you, pointy pencil for you, and pointy pencil for you. Now, I hope you've all remembered to bring something to draw today. Hmm? I was about to tell Mrs. Pointy Pencil I'd forgotten to bring Gordon when I saw him sitting by the open door. This could mean only one thing. If Gordon was here, so was Grandpa. Little boy, sit down. Little girl, what are you doing? Stop dressing that dolly and put those clothes away. I will not have this messing about. 